Mark, first day back, how's it been so far? Yeah, quite busy. We've been uh, obviously having meetings, staff meetings, clearly initially before the players come in, and then obviously just uh, the opening day of the season meeting, uh, just welcome everybody back and, uh, and just meet and greet everybody. Just give us a bit of a rundown of the day so far. It's not jumping in at the deep end, really, is it? This no, point? no, t today and, and tomorrow actually is, is more about testing just to get our baselines in terms of where the players are. Obviously, during the summer break, they they all had programmes that, of course, they've uh, adhered to rigorously. So uh, uh, we're hoping to see that in the, the tests that we do uh, today and tomorrow. We'll have a little bit of football tomorrow as well. I think it's, it's always important that you, you recognise that. We're actually footballers as well as athletes rather than just getting them on the track and running, running their legs off them uh, without seeing a ball. So I like to introduce the ball quite, quite early. Um, but the next two days is predominantly just getting their baselines. Next week, obviously, we'll, we'll start the work in earnest. I guess as much as anything else as well, first day, people meeting each other for the first time and again, picking up on relationships that they've left mm. off before the, the start, the, the end of the last season, I guess that's yeah, good yeah. to see and people. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. You pick up on those things. Uh, some of the guys wouldn't have seen uh, the lads uh, that they've sent, spent the vast majority of the last year, uh, week in, week out, and all of a sudden everybody shoots off at the end of the summer and uh, at the beginning of the summer rather than they don't see them until uh, the first day of training. So you revisit those uh, relationships and obviously we've got any number of new faces in. So uh, uh, those relationships will be built not only here, but obviously when we go away, which is really important in that regard. Most recent of them as well, only over the past couple of days, like Sir Romney Critchlow and Richie Smallwood, good to see them and the rest of the new signings coming in and impressed yeah, with them. Listen, I think everybody uh, recognises that in terms of recruitment, uh, the amount of work we've been able to do so early is, is going to benefit us to, to have, what is it, 10, 11 players and new players in on the first day of the season when we've still got weeks of the, the window still open. I think that's really important for us in terms of uh, the guys understanding of what we want from them and uh, what I need from them in terms of the way we're going to play. So to have them in early is, is really important. Just touch on the fixtures as well. We found out those this morning, so it's all sort of happened on the same mm. day, so to speak. Doncaster at home opening day, I guess, a great way to start the campaign yeah. and it's all eyes on that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, obviously, Doncaster will will bring any number of fans you would expect and uh, there'd be a big following for them. But... Um, I think just with the energy and uh, enthusiasm that is shown by the amount of season tickets that we've sold up to this point, I think um, the fact that we're, we're playing a local rival, um, a team that will bring good numbers in terms of support for themselves, uh, I think that will really uh, get everybody's enthusiasm and, and interest in the game to, to a great level. So who knows what, what crowd we'll have on that first day, but everybody's looking forward to, to that day and that game even now. I was going to mention those season ticket numbers as well, and again, when you relate it back to the way we ended last season with three straight victories, great, I guess, to see people encouraged on the back of those performances and those results, and again, looking forward to next season and showing us. Yeah, yeah well, well uh, I talked about it almost from the point I first came to the club. Uh, I was always talking about momentum. I just made people just roll their eyes, I think, the amount of times I kept on talking about it. But it was really important for us. And those last three games, along with other good performances before that, I think those last three games where we really hit a level that was really encouraging for everybody, not only for, for myself as the manager to see how uh, the players engaged in the work that we did, but um, our fans as well, I just think they were really encouraged by what they saw on the pitch. So uh, my feeling is we can build on that. Those 13 games that I had at the beginning, at the end rather, of last season is going to be vital uh, going into the next season. I, I wouldn't have had that knowledge, obviously, um, if I was coming in now uh, as the manager. That would have been really difficult, obviously, getting to know people as it is. Um, I'm in a good place in terms of understanding the capabilities of the play, players and um, what we need moving forward. Finally, only the first couple of days that we're in now, but plenty over the course of pre-season as we build towards next season to get excited about the trip to Spain mm. and the camp mm. there and some exciting friendlies as well. I guess it's all about building up and building the excitement yeah. and anticipation. And yeah, we, we've got some good weeks ahead of us, weeks where we can look at things maybe 
uh, try things out, um, try things and maybe discard others. It's That's what you do in pre-season. It's about giving everybody fit and well right through the period, make sure they get the fitness that they need to give them that base, but not damage them, not hurt them, make sure that everybody's fit and available for selection on the first, first game against Doncaster.